In this video, we are going to teach you how to process images in ArcGIS Pro software. Stay with us if you have any questions, ask in the comments. To get started, we need to create a new project using the map option. We assign a name for this project. After opening, using the base map option, we can activate the available base map types and display our study area. The imagery command is used for image processing. In this section, using the raster function we can process the image. You can observe all the analyzes here. First of all, we need to download our image. We've attached the related link in the description using which you can easily download Landsat images. Unzip and extract the image from the zip file. Landsat 8 bands are observable here. We can use MTL file to import the image. Using the add data option, we can import the image to the software. We select the MTL file. The Landsat 8 image can be displayed here. Using the Appearance option, we can perform processes. Using Symbology, we can apply visual changes.
Using band combination, you can choose the proper band combination. You can also select the appropriate stretch type. Swipe the image with the image below. After importing the image, it is necessary to apply pre-processing steps on the image. Using the imagery option and the raster function command, we can enter the correction section. Here we select the apparent reflectance command. We enter the image as input. Mark the albedo checkbox and click on the create new layer. Apparent reflectance was successfully applied. Spectral indices can be easily applied to the image in this software. For this purpose, we can select the NDVI command from the analysis section. We enter the image as input. and specify the infrared band. Finally, click on the create new layer. NDVI was applied to the image.
you can choose a proper color combination. You can also export the image. To export, we need to select the data and export raster commands. We select the image. And export it. Here we will show you how to extract many spectral indices. From the math section, we select the band arithmetic command. These indices can be easily calculated automatically. From the input part, we specify our image. In the method section, we can select all the available indices. Here we select the iron indexes index. The required bands are imported according to the specified formula. Here the iron indexes index was calculated. We calculate the EV index. The desired bands are imported according to the specified formula. Select our image. From the method section, select the SAVI index. We enter the bands as well as the L coefficient which is 0.5. We can also calculate the NDVI index. The desired bands are selected. Using the data section and the export raster command, we can export our images.
we set the output format to TIFF. Using the add data command, we can import a shape file to the software. Using this shape file, we can crop our area so that we can classify this area. From the imagery section, we select the raster function command. Select this command by searching for the clip command. We enter our image. We also define our shape file. Finally, click on create new layer. The image was cropped based on the defined shape file. We select the classification tools command using the imagery section. Here we select training samples manager. Here training is based on the NLCD 2011 standard that we delete all classes. We assign a name. And click add new class. Then we enter the class name. Define the class value. And choose a color for the class. We go to our area and collect water class samples. Finally, we select all the classes and click on the Collapse option. We select the Urban Areas class. Assign a name.
set the value and the color of the class. We collect samples from urban areas. Finally, we select all the classes and click on the Collapse option. We select the Bare Land class. and collect training samples from areas without vegetation. Finally, we select all the classes and click on the collapse option. We go to the Agricultural class. We collect samples from green areas that are agricultural lands. Finally, we select all the classes and click on the Collapse option. We can also add a series of samples to the classes. We save the samples in a specific path.
From the Classification Tools section, we select the Classify option. We can choose the desired classification method. Select Training Samples. The support vector machine classification was done here. We can also apply random forest classification to our image. All parameters remain by default. We select the maximum likelihood classification. The classification output was saved on the random forest classification output. In this section, we select the ISO cluster. The classification results are observable here. To compare classifications, we apply random forest again. If you have any questions, ask in the comments.